<laughs> there goes talking so much I didn't notice that the camera has stopped recording. Yeah, that's a nice point there. This would have been for an atlatl. Yeah. That would have been an atlatl point. Pretty deadly one too. There, that's how fast the pool, the pool is filling up. here well I'll have to, this is probably an archaic point at one time but it probably had a bit a better tip than that oh what am I doing I was already already up this way once twice and thrice it's okay though no? because you never know what can change in a tidal pool every tide leads something new or change moves something There used to be a lot of pieces of flint here, but I think most of it was collected up, gathered together. Yeah, like me, I think I have. Oh, I have a lot of it in the stored away under the cupboard. Under this under the kitchen sink in the cupboard. I got a lot of plant just sitting there. Well this uh, this used to be something. It's not an accident. This was Yep. Yeah, this was used by an ancient people or culture for something. I don't know. Well, that could have been. It could be a break off, or it could have been actually used purposely for something. The only way to tell is wash it off a little. I'm going to take a wild guess. 
can say this was used by a Paleo-Indian culture at one time. I don't know for what, but something. I can only, I can guess that it might have been used as a, a fat lamp. It might have been used as a fat lamp, might have been used as a grinding stone, might have been used as a chopping stone. Well, look at that. It's a, it is another one of those uh, uh, sharp chopping pieces, except the edge got worn down. This was used, definitely used in food, in the household, among the household tools. This is what it was used for processing, processing food. Uh, I think part of it broke off. It definitely broke off. I don't know. Put it back there. It's surprising what you can find laying in the mud. Well, this could have been in that lateral point. Very easily. Yeah. This here is a volcanic glass. I've got a natural hole right there. That would make a good bearing block. A spindle will turn in this hole. You just draw the bow back and forth to to turn to, to uh, turn the fire spindle. Heat up the Fireboard. Yeah. Yeah, I am sure that the Paleo people or Falsen people would have known, would have found the right rocks and the right tools to make to help make fire. They could either have done the the hand fire friction method or they could have done the bow drill method the uh, pump drill method. Oh uh, this might Huh, isn't this interesting? I think this was... This was going to be turned into a, a, an adze or a chisel. I don't know. This was going to be used for something else. It, it was probably was a, it was a tool for one of the Indian peoples. Well, this is a little different. Yeah, sedimentary. Okay, nope. Yep. Oh, 
Okay. I think my morning is pretty much done. This tide's going to come in. I'm going to go back to the house, finish, finish drinking my coffee, and, uh, and go check in the videos. Yeah, go watch some videos, why not? Hmm. Well, well, if I was going to find a fossil up here, I have to say it would be a material like this. It won't be in this. It would never be in that. It would only be in that. Okay, I guess that's enough of this weight. I never checked this area here. I should. Just to see if there is anything there. Well, I'm not too excited about that green glass. <laughs> it's going to be all... That will be turned into beach glass. Yeah, if there's any artifacts. Nope. That's flint, or chert, as they call it. That's a nice piece. From the looks of it, you would be able to nap off a... You would be able to nap off some respectable pieces off this. Okay. Now, is there anything kind of trapped in here? Nah. Well, hello, crab. Don't worry, I'll cover you up here in a second. There you go. There's some limestone. Well-baked one. A well-baked limestone at that. Well, that's interesting. This, uh, this in itself is, is just not an, a simple accident. It's not water-worn. It's not, uh, this is done by man. I don't, oh! That very easily could have been, uh, 
Oh gosh, a fat lamp. The wick would climb up here and you pack this with oil, the wick sticks up there and voila, you gotta you have a means to uh, have a fat wax candle. Yeah. Let's put that back. Huh. Okay. Sedimentary rock, yeah. Well, no spectacular finds. More of that igneous. Kimberlite, yes, Kimber igneous Kimberlite. <laughs> no, I'm not going to call it rock art. <laughs> that Kimberlite is, is kind of a strange. More of these big spikes. Okay, I guess that's enough of this. I'm going to sit down, enjoy the view for a few minutes. I uh, will see you online.